Hello everyone, it's Infamous Mango here from Big Big Nation, and today I'm bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. I'll be showing you how to create a Minecraft bucket server with Hamachi. Now the advantages of Hamachi is that it allows you to create a network in which your friends can join, and then you can play Minecraft really easily compared to port forwarding. So I recommend this and Bucket, the advantages of that over the regular Minecraft jar on Notch's website is that more people play Bucket and more people create a variety of mods for it which are called plugins. So yeah, just pay attention to this tutorial and you should have your server by the end of it. So to get started you will need either WinRAR or 7-Zip. These are both free, look in the description for all the files, links and information I'll lay it out for you easy to access. And just download whatever version you have, 32, 64 bit, for your operating system. And once you're done that, go to this link in the description, setting up a server at bucket.org, and go down to your operating system. I have Windows, so I'm going to download the latest crap bucket recommended build. Then you're going to go to this link in Hamachi, and you're going to download unmanaged mode. So you're going to download the craftbucket.jar and the Hamachi installation files, and we're going to wait for that to download. Okay, once you're done that, I'm going to show you how to make the actual server first, then how to connect your friends with Hamachi. So what you're going to do is, on your desktop, create a new folder, call it whatever you want. I'll call it Awesome Cookies Server. And I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to right-click, and create a new text document. And I'm going to open that up, put it on the side here, and now you're going to go to the setting up a server at bucket.org and you are going to copy one of the following codes. Now it depends on each of you. Most people have Java JRE6, so you're probably going to end up copying this. So you're going to go copy and paste it into your text, doc text document, pardon me. But if you see what he says, he says, if you're running Java in 32-bit mode on a 64-bit machine, change program files to program files by 86. So if you go to your computer over here, right-click and properties, you can see whether your computer is 64 or 32 bit. Mine's 64 bit. So I know mine's 64 bit. If I type in Java, it says 32 bit. So basically, what that is, if you go to computer over here, um, program files is the regular 64 bit, but program files by 86 is like 32 bit program. So I have Java there. So I know I'm running 32 bit Java on a 64 bit machine. So I'm going to change my program files. Just add in a times 86 here with the brackets, and you should be good. You can look in the description for these codes. I might make it easy, easier for you to understand. So anyways, you're going to save as, go save as, and then you're going to click type start dot bat, which stands for bash file, and you're going to save it as all files. So start dot bat. You can save that. Now you can close your text document. You can delete your text document once you have your Windows batch file here. Now what you're going to do is drag in your craft bucket that you downloaded. I'm going to rename it to just craft bucket so delete everything after. And then you can click start and your server should come up in a command window. There we go. And it should take some time to actually create the spawning area and everything because it's the first time you are starting your server up. So if you go to this folder it should create a lot more folders and files than you had before and basically this is where you put your plugins you just download a jar and you place it in here it's really self-explanatory I don't need to show you that this is where you put your worlds in this whole folder you can just drag it here you can ban IPs ban players you can make people ops which are kind of like well admin admin basically and you can whitelist people and this is the most important file here your server properties file you can if you want to add a world you can put it in your awesome cookie server or whatever your folder might be and you can change the name here so if it was awesome cookies I would put it right there but I do not have a world called awesome cookies so let's put it to world and so you can basically edit anything here to your discretion leave server IP right now empty and leave online mode to true this is how it's supposed to work but sometimes people have trouble connecting their friends so I'll show you some ways at the end if it's still not working to try to fix that so just do everything else except those two and you can click save okay, I don't know what that is whatever and yeah so that's how you start your server once it says done you know it's working fine and dandy so anyways now 
I'm gonna close my server and I'm going to go to Hamachi and show you guys how to use it you're gonna click run it should go pretty fast click next or oh, I already have mine whatever I'll just reinstall it and it should take a minute or so to install Hamachi okay mine is done so yours might look different than mine it might say probing and stuff that's the first time you actually log on to Hamachi and you can it'll give you some options once you go online either to create a network or join an existing network so if you want to create your own server you're going to want to create a new network or join an existing network so create a new network you just go over here and let's call it big big nation 2 and password you can do whatever you want one two three whatever and I will create this and then you should get a new thing that pops up over here and this is what you give your friends so I'm going to tell my friends it's big big nation 2 and it's lower and uppercase sensitive so tell them the exact name and this number up here should be your IP4 address that Hamachi gave you so if you right click that you can copy your IP4 address and this is the address you give your friends to log on to Minecraft Minecraft server with so if I log on to Minecraft here and go to multiplayer direct connect I can copy my IP4 address from there and log on or you can type in localhost either way works but this is the IP you give your friend and also let me just start my server right now so it works so that's basically how you actually make your server and you tell your friends to connect so right now if you are currently making one see if your friend can connect if not I have a couple of ways for you to try to fix that okay let me just connect to my server and see if it worked and okay that's a lot of cows as you can see I have my own server and I cannot destroy blocks because right now and just sh okay the cows need to shut up right now in my server properties I have my blocks near spawning like the spawn area you can't break them like over here I can break it but not up there so if you're wondering about that anyways that's how you actually make the server and you give that ad IP address to your friend so if you're wondering why you can't connect there's a couple things of, that you can do. You can either go to your search bar and type in network and sharing center. Hold on, I spelt that wrong. Okay, and then you can go to Windows Firewall and you can try turning it off over here. And usually, mine's always off and I, hadn't, I haven't had any problems. You can try turning it off if yours is on and see if your friends can connect. Or you can go to your server properties and a lot of times this works for people, they change online online mode to false and that enables their friends to join or they can try putting their IP4 address over here but mine works without it so you should try everything first and yeah that's how you make a server and ask your friends and get your friends to join you on Minecraft with Hamachi so guys thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and if you have any more questions or need help please message me or comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can peace have fun.